so we're having a teach-in here today about how to create sanctuary in the city. Uh, the city has done everything that it can and then some to create as much inhumanity to people on the street as possible. At every turn, there's a sweep. There's a lie at every turn that sweeps aren't happening from Ted Wheeler, from Sam Adams, uh, from Dan Ryan, and right down the street, there's a sweeps notice. Um, right on that corner over there, that person was swept three days ago. Uh, uh, in fact, rabbit response came in, swept that person early in the morning while she was sleeping. And yet, City Hall is telling people that there are no sweeps happening yet. There are sweeps happening. We're in an extended, a three-year extension of the housing emergency crisis. What do we do when there's a crisis? What do we do when there's an emergency? We reach out and we help people. That's the work that I do. I help support folks on the street in whatever way I can. All the people who are here do the same thing. So that's what's happening today. We are teaching folks how best to create a sanctuary in a city that doesn't believe in sanctuary and only believes in creating crisis at every turn for the people who are in most need in the city, which are our houses neighbors. So I see again the hygiene table, so anyone can come by and grab what they need. So, yeah. People can come by, grab what they need. People can learn how to erect certain structures that are temporary structures that create stability and create um, ways for people to be protected from the elements, protect the very people who are in them from cops coming at them at every turn. So we're teaching people how to build sanctuary today. So um, tell me a little bit, because earlier when you guys were setting up uh, your um, Julie's presence in the park, tell me a little bit about what the um, the interaction was. What was what were they saying? What was the problem? Well, the police in Portland are the first call for whenever there's an emergency to do harm. So the police were here to attempt to do harm. And we told them there's no reason for them to be here today and um, that we don't need the harm that they cause. So we, there's an ordinance that was created by our state, by the legislature, House Bill 4001, that allows um, nonprofits and religious organizations during an emergency housing crisis to provide shelter in the city. So there's no need for police well, ever, but especially today down here. And uh, going back to this area and what you guys are doing today, tell me at the end of the day when you pack up and leave, what is the ultimate goal? What do you want people to walk away from? My, my goal isn't, and my goal doesn't end at the end of the day, you know, my, and it's not a goal. My purpose is to help people who want to receive support to have some form of stability occur in their lives when the city is against them living. So I don't have an end of the day goal. I have a desire for sanctuary in this city and a desire to be rid of all entities that create harm in the city and that would be everybody who is working in City Hall and the cops. And is there anything else that I missed about uh, about today or what you guys are doing that you want to mention or talk about? Uh, I just want everybody to understand that people who are houseless are the, the crisis is about and for and involves the people who are houseless. People need support. People only receive. I don't. I don't want to use this. So what okay, I just yeah, said. Yeah. Can this just be yeah, off the record? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not because these so questions okay. are like not things that I think about. You know, we just we do good things for people. People need good things done for them. People need love. So if there's anything that I could say to anybody who's listening is provide love for the people who need it most in this city. It's very simple. Figure out what love is to you. Give that to those who are in need. That's what we're doing today. Thank you.